I'm very excited today to review a book by one of my favorite authors, Harry Turtledove. The book I want to review is the first book of a series that Turtledove is writing called The War That Came Early, and the first book in the series is Hitler's War. Um, if you're not familiar with Harry Turtledove, I've done a video about him on my personal channel. I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. So I'll give you a little bit more background on Turtledove. This is a book in alternate history, which Turtle Dove is probably considered the best author in this genre. If you're not familiar with alternate history, it's basically changing one little aspect of history and then setting a story in that period and seeing how events unfold differently from what really happened in our world. Um, the most famous examples of this is the South winning the Civil War, uh, Germany winning World War II, but you can even take minuscule stuff and see how it affects, you know, um, Stuff like, you know, I've seen stuff like women getting the right to vote 10 years earlier, or prohibition remaining in effect, or um, uh, somebody that's assassinated in our timeline, the assassination attempt fails in an alternate history book. So you can take really any aspect of history you want to, change it, and then play with how events would unfold differently or the same. It's really fascinating. Somebody that loves history like me, it's a great thing. Um, but the thing I love about Harry Turtledove, he is such a talented author that even if you're not into history, you can still love his books because the thing he does so well is um, get you to care about characters, which is amazing because one thing Turtledove does in a lot of his books, and this book especially, is he deals with a whole lot of characters. Um, this book is basically set in uh, the late 1930s, and I did behind this um, alternate history scenario that Turtle Dove has created is what would have happened if World War II had started a couple years earlier? Anyone that knows much about the history of the leading up to World War II knows that Hitler made several demands on England and France for territorial concessions to Germany. And um, in our world history, um, England and France kept on making deals with Hitler to try to avoid World War II until it eventually started. In this scenario, for various reasons that Turtle Dove, Turtle Dove sets up at the beginning of the book, England and France stop appeasing Hitler, so the war starts a couple years earlier. So you get to see, you know, what would have happened differently, you know, would Germany have been in a better position, would England and France have been in a better position, you know, how would that impact the rest of the stuff, would that impact how Japan waged their war in the Pacific, all that type of stuff. The thing that Turtle Dove does that's really interesting compared to a lot of authors is, when he deals with aspects like this, um, be it politics or war, his books don't really focus on the leadership positions that you normally hear from. So in a lot of his books, um, the story is told from the point of view of a general or a president or you know, a king, somebody in command. Turtle doesn't do that. Um, he tells the story through privates and armies, citizens caught in a war zone. Um, sometimes he'll do journalists. Um, but it's very much people on the front line, people that typically history books ignore when they're focusing more on the leaders. Um, he definitely focuses on, focuses on more of the common people and their different actions. Another interesting thing that the Turtle Dove does in most of his books he does do in this series is he gives the point of view from both sides. So he'll have um, a soldier in the German army giving his viewpoints and feelings about how the war is going. And then he'll have a soldier in the French army and a soldier in the English army giving their viewpoints. So you're hearing from all the different sides and Turtle Dove loves to point out how each side views what they're doing through their own perspective. So the, obviously the German soldier believes he's doing the right thing and the French and English are just evil and then the English and French soldiers think they're doing the best. And um, um, Turtle Dove also does a great job in this book with highlighting civilians and kind of using them to explore um, the propaganda that they would hear and you know what they would figure out is propaganda. Um, all sorts of stuff. It's a very interesting aspect that Turtle Dove does in this series and several other series. But Turtle Dove does a great job, like I said, making you care about these characters. Even um, when the guys I find interesting when you read Turtle Dove, he does a real good job of trying not to villainize people. So even though um, you're dealing with a soldier in the Nazi army, he's presenting it to you as a common person that he happens to be in the German army. He might not necessarily consider himself a Nazi, but he's he doesn't really know about all the politics behind Hitler. He's just fighting, and 
you realize the soldier is not necessarily an evil person, even though the cause he's fighting for is evil, and it really paints a human picture on him. It makes you think, you know, about all the aspects of war and politics. A lot of times it just gets glossed over and everything gets turned black and white. And Turtle Dove does a good job. So there is, you know, gray in a lot of these situations. Um, I'm very excited for this his, um, this series. This first book um, got it off to a great start. Basically this book um, deals with the war starting early, and I would say the first six months to about a year of the war, um, how it's unfolding and stuff. Um, so I'm very excited to pick up big, book two in this series. But if you're interested in alternate history, I'd encourage you to check out any book by Turtle Dove. Um, he's a master of the genre. So either this series, um, The War That Came Early, or one of his many other series. Remember, like I said, I've done a video about Turtle Dove and a lot of the series he wrote on my personal channel. Be sure to check that out. Um, he's done series where it's often in history, but he mixed it with sci-fi. He's mixed some with fantasy. He set up more, some in just more real, realistic, real-world situations. So he's pretty much wrote series. I think anybody can find one series that would probably sound appealing to them, no matter what kind of genre of literature you normally read. So I encourage you to check out any book by Harry Turtle Dove. But specifically, if you're looking for a good read currently, I'd encourage you to check out his new series, The War That Came Early. Book number one is Hitler's War. Hope you'll check it out. Hope you'll enjoy it as much as I did. Um, if you've read any good alternate history books lately by Turtle Dove or anybody else, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always looking for a new alternate history book to read. And I have a very specific request to read. Um, one of my favorite parts of history is the Roman Empire. I love studying that. I've wrote, read several nonfiction books on the, um, the Roman Empire. But one thing I think about recently I've never actually read an alternate history book set in a scenario that I, I've often thought about. What would have happened if the Roman Empire had never collapsed? So if anybody knows a great alternate history book or series that's set in a world where the Roman Empire did collapse, please let me know in the comment section below. That's a storyline I think would be very interesting and I definitely would love to read some books set in that scenario. So I appreciate any help in find, helping me find a book or series in that um, time frame with the Roman Empire never collapsing. I appreciate your help. Um, again, read a book by Harry Turtle Dove. I think you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you the next time.